everyone what's up i hope you guys are doing incredibly well this is the very last week of the color series that we've been doing here on my channel it has been quite a long month but honestly i've just been having the best time filming these videos it's been a lot of fun so for the last week i decided that we could focus on some reds and some oranges i don't really do too many red eyeshadow looks so i think this will be a nice week and the makeup look that i picked out today is going to be pretty simple and smoky and i just i don't know i saw it and it just really caught my eye so hopefully this will turn out well and let's just get started so starting off i'm gonna go in with a foundation that has pretty nice buildable coverage because i'm not too sure how intense i want my coverage to be today <laughs> so we'll just go with the flow i'm gonna add a little more on the lower half of my face now for concealer i'm gonna take the la girl pro conceal this is pretty intense and that's great because my under eyes are looking a little dark today. So let's go ahead and apply this. I'm going to add the same concealer in the center of my face to help bring some balance all around. All right, that looks pretty good to me. Whenever I'm working with shadows that are like red or blue or purple, I really like to make sure that I have a good under eye coverage going on because I don't want it to get mistaken for like the natural tones of my under eyes now that everything is blended to how i would like it i'm gonna go ahead and set it with a loose powder and i'm not gonna add that much powder underneath my eyes because i'm gonna be smoking out the lower lash line so i just don't want to build up more and more product so i think i'm gonna stop that right there now i'm gonna take some bronzer and i like working it into the back of my hand especially when i have clean brushes because that stuff will just like cling onto the brush like no other so i like to make sure that it's evenly distributed throughout the brush and then i feel comfortable applying it onto my skin for blush i'm gonna pick up the shade bali and this is from elf it's been a very long time since i've done this but i'm gonna take a pressed powder and do a very light run all over my face I'm not too certain if I want highlight all throughout my face just yet, so I'm just going to take some down my nose. This is what we're currently looking like with the base. I think this is pretty good. Like I said, I might add some highlight, but I'll decide later on. So I'm going to go ahead and do one eye off camera and then come back and show you guys what I did. All right, you guys, I'm back. This eye look honestly looks so sick. Like I am beyond happy with how this turned out and it was so easy so so easy to do so i'm gonna go ahead and show you what i did also i just added some nude lip colors <laughs> lip colors lip shades whatever to my lips because same old same old starting off the eyes i do have them prepped with the nyx eyeshadow primer and some black liner and now i'm gonna go ahead and run a deep transition in my crease moving on to the reds i'm gonna take a nice deep cherry red and work that in the crease and outer corner of my eye. And when it comes to diffusing the outer corner of the eye, I like to take my sweet, sweet time and work in smaller sections because I've sometimes taken shortcuts and it's always gone out of control and it becomes a lot harder to tame that specific area. I didn't know what shadow I wanted to go in with to deepen this eye up because this is the deepest red I own. So I found something that leaned more to that of like a cherry brown and I feel like it gave the perfect depth that I was looking for. So I'm keeping that pretty tight to that outer corner and then I'm going to use a fluffier brush to bring that further out. Then I'm running the same shadows I used up top on the lower lash line. So now I'm going to take a clean brush and use that to buff out these edges and pull this shadow in this upward motion. I'm basically following my lower lash line because I like that lifted effect that I get. Then let's place a shimmery red on the inner half of the lid. And I'm also going to place a small amount on the lower inner lash line. Okay, what's next? The inner corner. This was so interesting. I swear I thought the inner corner was gold, 
but I don't know I was like really zooming in on the photo today and it almost looks like it has a, like a green shift to it so I do have a shadow that kind of resembles that so I went ahead and added that and honestly the color combo I feel looks insane like it's so fun <laughs> So let me go ahead and add that then lastly to finish off the eye look I'm gonna go ahead and add some mascara and lashes I don't think I'm gonna add any highlight because I feel like I'm getting a little bit of a sheen with the blush I had used so I'm good. Oh my god. I just want to do this all the time I want this to be my new neutral eye <laughs> But yeah, I mean like I said very very easy to achieve. I really do wish I had colored liners so I could put in my waterline I seriously need to buy them because adding a red oh my god that would look so so cool but i only have like black and brown so <laughs> and that concludes this video for the red color story this week two more videos you guys and that is it well until i do this again which i might <laughs> but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it please take care of yourselves and i'll see you in the next one bye there's something in my eye oh my god i was trying to play that off <laughs> I could not see at all. Where is the shade? Oh. When I move, you move. Why is that stuck in my head? <laughs>